Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how you can create a custom shaped stair in ARCHICAD. As you know, ARCHICAD gives you the option to create stairs. If you go and select the stair tool and click here on create stair, it gives you a pretty wide range of stair options that you can select and you can move forward with adding the height between the levels, the number of stairs that you want and stuff like that. But as you can see here you have a custom shaped stair that you can not click on. So let's say that we have a case like this where I want to have a stair on a custom angle. Uh, in this case I believe the angle is 135 degrees but it doesn't matter. You can do this on any angle, maybe on a curved wall. You can apply this principle on basically anything. So, in order to create your stair, you're going to need to draw a fill, which is the outline of your stair, and a line that is going to be the walking line of your stair. So that is what you're going to have to draw first. So first of all, I'm going to select my line tool in order to trace out the shape of the stair that I want to make. So first of all I'm gonna he uh, go here and trace the shape of the wall. Once I drew my line I'm gonna select it and I'm gonna make sure that this button is activated which means suspend groups. If I'm gonna show you I'm gonna click it again so the groups are not suspended that they are active if I want to offset this line, I can't because I don't have the option here. I'm going to click Escape. I'm going to click this button. And as you can see here, now I have the offset option or just maybe the pull option. But I, what I'm going to need is the offset option. And you can see now that I can do that. So I'm going to type in 1.2. 1, 1 this is going to be the width of my stair that I'm going to create. So once I've done that, I can you can maybe start to see how I want to create this stair. I want to go from here up to here. So once I did that, I'm going to set some dimensions for my stair. So maybe down I want to go 2.7 meters. And I'm going to go perpendicular to the wall. And in this case, I'm going to do the same. 2.7 meters and I'm going to draw perpendicular on the wall. Once I've done that, you can see this is the shape that I want. Let's say that this wall is curved. You can do the same thing. Draw a line, draw an arc, an arch, and then you can offset it, and then the wall is going to go the same way. So, what I'm going to do now is gonna, I'm going to select the fill tool and I'm going to hold down the space bar, which is the magic, band, magic wand tool, and I'm going to click. So I have my fill. This is going to be the shape of my stair. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to take this line and this line. And I'm going to do the same thing, offset it, and I want to offset it until uh, up to the middle of my future stair. So I'm going to type in 0 0.6 because the total width is 1.2. Once I've done that, I'm not going to use this particular line because I don't remember the direction of, in which I drew it. Maybe I drew it like this, maybe I drew it like this. The point is that the way that you draw the line, like from where you start and when, where you end up, that's going to be the direction of the walking line. So on, once I have this, I'm going to trace out again, but only up until here, from the beginning of the stair up to the end of the stair. And I'm going to select, the select these two lines and delete them. So I'm left just with the lines that I drew before. Once I have this, so I have my fill, which is the shape, and the line, which is the walking line. Remember, the, li the direction in which you drew the line is going to be the direction in which your stair goes up. I'm going to select the fill and the line. If you click on uh, suspend groups you can see that the other line got selected.
as well. You can do that. You can also just select it simply, but that's an easier way to do it. So once you have your lines and your fill selected, you're going to go to Design and you're going to click on Create Stair using Selection. And as you can see out of the options, you only have this one down here. You're going to click on OK. And now you can type in your, as you can see, the stair is created the way you want it to. The shape and the walking line upwards. Now you can maybe unlock this and add a custom dimension. Maybe 280, I don't know. Whatever is the height that you want your stair to have. And then you can lock it back up. As you can see, the other dimensions you can change because these are the dimensions of the fill that you drew in the plan. So the point is that you have to really think a bit more maybe before you draw something, a stair like this, to really establish the width and the number of stairs. Maybe do this lines according to how wide you, uh, how wide you want your footsteps to be. Okay, you're going to click on OK now. And it's going to tell you how to name your stair. I'm going to say custom stair 1. Save. Okay. Once you have done that, you're going to go to the stair tool and automatically here appears the last stair that you created. And you're going to just click and as you can see, the stair appears. And it has exactly the shape. I deleted the fill and the lines below, but it has exactly the shape and the walking line that you designed. Maybe we want to go see this in 3D. I'm going to use the marquee tool. I outlined the area that I want to see in 3D. I'm going to click on F5 and here is the stair. And it has the height that I set up set for it and the shape that I set for it. Okay, I'm gonna go back to my plan view. You can do that, the shortcut for that is pressing F2. And that is it. Okay, hope this helps you and if you have any questions leave them down below. Bye!